Good day, Junior Techies. I'm Mrs. Brimaker. We are going to look at Chapter 11, that Activity 5. This question consists of question 5.1 and 5.2. Starting with 5.1, match column A with column B. A VAT vendor, a business with an annual turnover of more than 1 million. Receipt base means number E. That is payable only when payment is received either in full or part. That invoice is number D, a document issued by a registered vendor as proof of sale. Tax avoidance is number A, legally reducing your taxable income. And then tax evasion is number C, concealing income or information from tax authorities. It's illegal. Question 5.2. The information relates to sun stores for the VAT period ended 30 September 2022. The business is owed by Elvis Red. All goods are subject to 15% VAT. Required? Calculate the VAT amount that is either receivable from or payable to SARS on 30 September 2022. If we look at the information, the provided due amount owed by SARS on the 1st of September 2022, then amounts from the journals on 30 September 2022. So we need to now calculate if we owe SARS or the SARS owes us. So we care about what is the VAT amount on all these transactions. And then we need to make sure, number C, the following errors and omissions were noted. Now, when asked to calculate the VAT amount payable or receivable from SARS, it doesn't matter how you show your answer. In other words, if you would like to do a T account, you may open up the VAT control account as a T account. No details will be required. If you prefer having output VAT and showing all the transactions related to the output VAT and then input VAT and then do the calculation, it's 100% correct. If you prefer just saying plus or minus, also 100% correct. I prefer to do a VAT control account, a T account. So now I'm going to start with the opening balance. The amount owed by SARS on 1st of September 2022 was 25300 If this amount is owed by SARS, it means it will appear on the debit side. The first transaction is sales and we need to find the VAT amount. They provided us with the amount including VAT. So to find the VAT amount, we have to say times 15 divided by 115. That equals the VAT amount. Now, this is just a checklist that I'm going to use. If we're collecting VAT, it means output VAT will be credited. If output VAT is credited, the VAT control account will be credited. Credit and cash purchases. They provided the amount excluding VAT. So to find out the VAT amount, we're just going to say times 15%. Credit and cash purchases means items purchased. That input will be debited. If that input is debited, it means my VAT control account will be debited. I'm therefore going to minus that. VAT on discount allowed two debtors. They provided the figure for me, so there's no calculation involved. That on discount allowed two debtors means that there will be a reduction in the amount that we owe SARS. Therefore, that output will be debited. If that output is debited, then the VAT control account will be debited. Next, we've got stock returned by debtors, and we need to calculate the VAT amount. They provided us with the amount including VAT. So to find out the VAT amount, we have to say times 15 divided by 115. Returns by debtors means that my output VAT is going to be debited. If output VAT is debited, liabilities will decrease. The VAT control account will be minus. 
bad debts written off, question mark. This is an easy calculation because we just need to take including that minus excluding that and that equals the VAT amount. Bad debts written off means that we can get a reduction in the amount which we owe SARS. VAT output will be debited and if VAT output is debited, our liabilities will decrease, the VAT control account will be debited. Bad debts recovered, they provided the figure to me, so there's no calculation involved. Bad debts recovered means that we've collected the money which we've written off from the debtor whose account was written off as bad debts. Because we've recovered that money, that money is now owed to SARS again. So that output will be credited, which means the VAT control account will be credited. Now we need to look at the additional transactions. VAT on discounts granted by creditors were not recorded. The VAT on discount received amounted to 5400 They provided the VAT amount to us, so there's no calculation involved. You need to know, VAT on discount granted by creditors means that we need to adjust our VAT input. VAT input will be credited, and if VAT input is credited, it means that my VAT control account will be credited. So just be careful with this VAT granted by creditors. My assets will decrease, it's credited, but that will have a positive effect on the amount payable to SARS. Stock taken by the owner at cost value 2116 including VAT. Here we've got a calculation again. They provided the amount including VAT. This means to find the VAT amount, we need to say times 15 divided by 115. Now, if the owner is taken for personal use, it means that VAT output will be credited. If my VAT output is credited, it means that the VAT control account will be credited. VAT on sales was recorded incorrectly. Certain goods with a selling price of 13800 including VAT, should have been recorded as zero-rated items. Remember that zero-rated items means that VAT is charged, but at 0%. So to correct this, we need to take 13,800 times 15 divided by 1,800. That means that VAT output is now going to be debited with 1,800 which means if that output is debited, the VAT control account will be debited. Once we've completed now all the transactions, we can calculate do we owe SARS or does SARS owe us? Now, if I do a VAT control account, it's easy to take note of the fact that the credit side is more than the debit side. So I'm going to start adding up the credit side minus everything on the debit side, which means 15,041 is the amount payable to SARS. Just a reminder, if you prefer not to do a T account and just do the calculations, then this will be 100% correct. Thank you very much. Next, we're going to look at our last activity, activity six. Success is a journey, not a destination. Have a wonderful day.